I'm going to show you how to generate AI content that passes AI detection as human written. This article is written using only AI, and I'm also going to take it through my favorite AI detection tool to see if it passes. I'll also show you some of the other SEO tools featured to see what I like and what I don't like. Let's get into it. Click the link in the description to start using SEO GPT. SEO GPT is an AI software that was created for on-page and off-page optimizations. It has a lot of features like Google-friendly titles, descriptions, the ability to pass AI detection, natural language content, and it can analyze page content. So I'm going to take you through creating an article that passes AI detection. First, click create an article, then enter your article title and the keywords. You can also change the persona from professional, marketing expert, freelance, blogger, technical writer, or journalist. After that, you can choose your language and branding. Then you can choose how many words. So I chose 2000. You can change the person if you would like, and then it'll give you an outline. This outline was good looking and you can edit it if you want. I'm going to leave it like this and just click confirm and then it'll write my article. So this article is 1600 words and I had clicked the 2000 option. So taking a look at this article, this is a good looking article. It includes a lot of information and it looks like it was well researched. The headings look good. There's no weird text, which often happens with AI. I'm going to scroll through this article some more so you can take a look at it and just see the quality. Everything under each heading looks good, and it seems like it covers the information pretty well. It also has these graphs on the side where it shows how much of that goal it was able to attain. So I'm just going to keep scrolling here and you can see that this is a good looking article. And when I get down here to the bottom, it even has references, which really helps with EEAT for Google. So I thought this was a great feature to have, and I like how it included it at the bottom. So after the article is written here at the bottom, it includes a few tools you can use to check to see if it passes AI detection or not. So I'm going to check these tools out and then I'm going to put it through one of my favorite AI detection software to see if it passes that. So here's the first AI content detector. And as you can see, it says it's 100 percent human generated content. I like this AI content detector. I've used it before, so this is a good sign. So let's check another one. Content Detector AI says that this content was likely written by a human. It has a probability of 7% that it was written by AI. So this is a really high score and this is a good AI content detector. Next, let's check Scriber. Scriber says there's a 0% chance that this text was generated by AI. And one of the interesting things about Scriber is it's powered by Turnitin, which is often used by professors and teachers. So let's take it through my favorite one, Content at Scale. I think Content at Scale is one of the toughest AI detection tools to pass. And it also highlights sentences it believes could be AI. So here you can see it passes as human. This is a really high score and for only two sentences to be marked as possible AI is really good. Now I'm going to take you through a few of the other tools for SEO GPT. I like this geo targeted keyword title. I think it did a pretty good job of rewriting this title for this web page to target the geography better. Another interesting tool I've seen 
was the ability to have SEO GPT put together a strategy for your website. So you include a web page and it'll give you an analysis of the competitors based on rank, keyword, and URL. It'll also give you a score of each of the competitor sites and a score of your site. Then it puts together this core AI strategic summary. This summary was pretty generic. I would say more specific recommendations would be nice, but these are some good things to consider. Some of these are somewhat outdated as well. It suggests H3s here for outranking competitors, which is pretty outdated. It also has another feature where it'll give you auto SEO GPT mapping, and it'll give you title optimizations, meta descriptions, H1s, H2s, and H3s. So here I've highlighted one of the meta descriptions that it's recommended, but this meta description is longer than what would fit in the Google area. This would likely be truncated. So this isn't a best practice here. So some of these I wouldn't recommend, but I think it gives a lot to consider. Here we have topic maps, and this is basically putting together a route to topical authority for my keyword. So these are all blog posts that it's suggesting, and then the recommended URL. Here these URLs are not following SEO best practices. They're really long. A lot of them include double hyphens, which isn't good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the pros and cons of SEO GPT and my overall opinion. The pros, it writes good content from a decent outline it puts together from research. It includes references at the bottom, which is great for EEAT. The content it writes passes AI detection at a high percentage, possibly the highest percentage I've seen to this point on one of the most strict AI detection softwares. I also like the geo-targeted title writer. I think it worked pretty good. Here's the cons. Pretty much all the other tools need some work. They work off outdated SEO principles and don't give much in terms of action items to rank higher. Also, I didn't see a good way to add or generate images for the blog posts. SEO GPT is great at writing undetectable AI content. Click the link in the description to get started for free now. Check out these other videos of AI software you should be using.